Now we're going to go ahead and show you two complete editing systems. A laptop computer setup and a tower setup. One is with the laptop driving computer monitors plus video displays. And the other is with the tower or desktop computer driving computer monitors and video displays. In either system configuration, the laptop or desktop, for the first pass, you'll want to optimize the internal controls of the flat panel or the client viewing monitor. And this typically involves setting things like brightness, contrast, color temp, color spaced, aspect ratio, and then balancing the white point with RGB controls. Then you would build a corrective 3D LUT to further fine tune the colors. And this can be loaded into popular tools like Resolve, Scratch, After Effects, and many more. For a complete list, you can visit our website at www.spectracal.com or you can navigate to the support page and see all the different display technologies uh, and software applications that we have. The best way to do it really is to add a LUT device like an IS Mini by Fujifilm or AJA LUT box. Uh, the benefit for this is that you can have a calibrated monitor for any application that you're using versus just the one application that has the corrected 3D LUT. Now for computer monitors, you want to optimize the internal controls first, if they have any. On a lot of displays, they may not have them. For example, in the Apple Cinema display, there's zero control. So everything's done in the graphics card of the output of the computer monitor. So you want to get the display as close as you can if there are controls. Um, if there aren't, then you're just set with the 1D LUT and ICC Pro from the graphics card. You want to set the backlight level to match the output of the other display systems, then you want to calibrate the 1D LUT on the graphics card for grayscale and gamma and create an ICC profile to be loaded into the operating system. For video monitors, most of them have some sort of basic calibration controls, typically not as many as an HDTV or projector. And these displays are usually pretty linear in color, so you always want to check some of the preset modes in the display before doing any calibration to find a preset that is closest to the color standard you are targeting. Oftentimes you can find a preset on these monitors that is really close without having to do much internal optimization at all. Most of the work for correcting the reference monitor is with a 3D LUT. And you can create one for editing software or you can add a LUT box to the source path and create a corrective LUT here. Or in some cases with newer monitors you can load a, a corrected 3D LUT directly into the display itself. This is the way most display manufacturers are moving forward into the future. Here's a list of some of the display manufacturers currently making displays with built-in 3D LUT capabilities. Expect to see this list double or maybe even triple in 2015. Currently there's Panasonic, TV Logic, Flanders Scientific, ESO, and Dolby. And here are some of the manufacturers making external 3D LUT devices for inserting between the source and the display. AJA makes a great LUT box, Fujifilm makes the IS Mini, the neat thing about that is it also doubles as a pattern generator, has SDI and HDMI output. There's the Blackmagic Design HDLink Pro, Pandora makes a device called the Pluto, and for those of you that have been around for a while, there's the Davio, and it also doubles as a pattern generator. By the way, it works beautifully with Cowman. And here are the common 3D LUT file types supported by most of the creative and editing software applications. As you can see, this list is quite extensive. And if there's a particular 3D LUT file type that's not in this list that you need, you can always reach out to us and let us know what you're looking for. It's not hard for us to add new LUT formats since we've co covered most of the common different types here. And another thing to mention too is that since we have a few here that are uh, generic formats like CSV, there are a lot of third-party applications where you could uh, output a LUT from Calman into a CSV file, bring it into another utility, and then convert it back out to whatever you need for your particular use case. All right, the world is changing. So a million years ago, basically like 2012, you had to use the display's calibration controls because that's really all you had. It was an iterative process, and it took a lot of work to be a master of. Nowadays, that isn't the case. With 3D LUT technology, it's more powerful, more accurate, and reduces a lot of human error. You don't have to be a color scientist or a professional calibrator anymore. You can set up the meter, set up your pattern source, select the particular LUT format, and push one button, and it will just run until it's complete. Take the file, load it into your application, your software, or your 3D LUT device, validate your, your color performance of your monitor, and then get back to work um, to the important things at hand.